Okay, um, hello, I am Juan. I am part of the teaching team in Global Justice. Some of you already know me. And the specific topic I want to treat right now is the relation of environmental conservation with human rights and people's rights in general. Um, and to address in a, this relation in a critical way um, after uh, revising uh, some general ideas on, on the relation of conservation with uh, human rights. So I think most of the people will think that this is a, like the relation between conservation and human rights or the achievement of human rights is a positive uh, relation. Uh, in which um, to protect and preserve uh, biodiversity and, and the good health uh, of ecosystems and nature is a path or one of the factors that lead to achieving uh, human rights. In what sense? In the sense that, uh, for example, uh, it is known that um, the right to have a healthy or to enjoy of a healthy environment uh, is linked with the good state of the ecosystems and the environment in which we live, um, both in the cities and in the countryside uh, in every country. Um, and for example, this right to enjoy of a healthy environment is also linked to the right to access to good food, to have uh, like enough food and of good quality uh, for life and this is also linked with a uh, with a good state of the environment especially in the countryside uh, where people uh, get their food not from supermarkets but from uh, what they grow in their lands for example and what they change with their neighbors and also um, another relevant point here will be uh, like the like to the right to have plenty of access to water um, and this of course also depends on the level or uh, on to what extent uh, your environment is in a, a good state so in general terms we could think that the relation between conservation and human rights is a positive relation and um, it is seen, conservation, it is seen, it is seen of one of the means to achieve uh, human rights. And this is actually um, part of uh, the big uh, discourse and frame of sustainable uh, development, the model of sustainable uh, development. Uh, but just to start thinking a bit more critically, critically let's think about in the case of water. So... Uh, in access to water, um, thinking about the, the current situation with the pandemic, uh, this like very broadly diffuse campaigns on wash your hands constantly, what for the people who cannot wash their hands um, constantly because they have not proper access to water or because their environments are so degraded that the water is even more dirty than uh, their hands themselves um, so this is just to problematize a bit that part or to show that um, it is relevant the, the, the condition of the environment in order to um, keep human rights but in the, in the other side there is also a big tension among conservation and the achievement of human rights or people's rights in general because in many cases, uh, um, conservation efforts and the global conservationism and concerns on climate change and global, global warming are leading to the vulneration of rights of certain people, especially the people who live in the important ecosystems that aim to be protected by uh, global concerns, as the Amazon, for example, the Amazonian forest, or uh, uh, the tropical forest also in Africa and the Southwest Asia, um, Southeast Asia, sorry. Um, and why so? Because uh, conservation and the strengthening of conservation and the environmental protection in these areas implies the imposition of some, of some restrictions on people's livelihoods 
and limiting the access that those people have to natural resources as, for example, water or wood, for example, to cook um, hunting meat um, and the, the, the very way in which they work in the land and produce uh, food. Um, just to post some interesting data, um, it is calculated by some scholars, by some scholars that for uh, the end of the 2000 uh, decade, there were around 15 million people all over the world who were evicted uh, in the last 20, now 30 years uh, because of environmental purposes. Uh, this means people who, were, uh, who lost their land and the access and their property rights over their lands because they were declared as protected, like environmentally protected areas and every human activity was prohibited. Um, and these people uh, um, often have to move to the big cities and change the way they live, uh, leading this leads to a vulneration in, in the rights, of course. Um, and in the case of Latin America and the Caribbean, uh, where I come from, um, just to give an example of the strengthening of conservation in the last uh, decades due to the model of sustainable development and global concerns on climate change. Um, in, at the end of the 80s, um, only 5% of the territories, land territories of uh, all the countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, 5% were uh, uh, protected areas. And for the 2000s, and currently, uh, this uh, percentage increased to almost 20%. And uh, what this implies is um, a lot of uh, territories being, uh, like indigenous and peace and territories being included into protected areas and um, a lot of restrictions being imposed over these people in order to, or in the ways they access to natural resources. Uh, that they need for a good health. In the case of Colombia, just to pose uh, an example, uh, just uh, to close, there is an interesting situation, and it's that uh, recently the Supreme Court of um, Justice in Colombia declared that the entire Colombian Amazon is a subject of rights itself. Um, so in this case, the nature, nature uh, appears as a subject of rights and these rights are uh, colliding or uh, having the problems with the giving of human rights and the rights of people who live in the Amazon because uh, they are being evicted, they are being prosecuted by the army because uh, they are accused of being invaders of the forest. Uh, and this, this idea of the nature as a subject of rights is being an excuse to militarize again uh, the jungle and to blur uh, together the fight against uh, narco traffic, for example, against coca crops in the Amazon, um, put it together with the fight against deforestation. And at the end, what is happening is that the uh, rural communities that have been living in these places for hundreds of years uh, um, are being affected in their, uh, in their rights of access to land, to water, to wood, uh, to, to, to food in general. Um, uh, so just to close, what this shows is that uh, the way we think about conservation and the way conservation is uh, thought from the north, from uh, this model of uh, sustainable development sometimes collides with uh, the ways in which people in other places of the world think that conservation should be done and think that nature is. Uh, so the question here is what type of conservation should be done with what purposes and to achieve whose rights. Um, and that's all for this side. Thank you. Bye.